Hi everybody, it is July 10, 2019, flooding and water spouts reported across NOLA, New Orleans. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along. Look at all of the streets that are closed in New Orleans. New Orleans. Okay, well, the forecast for New Orleans is not good. But look here, a tornado. Really? Really? Wow. Wow. Now, doesn't that have an unusual curve to it? I just saw. Unit, be advised. NOPD just reported a tornado. So, you guys in the New Orleans area? You're flooding. You are flooding. Your streets are flooding. All over. Okay. Click on the link below. One that's out right now. Right now, I-610 at Elysian. And you can see all of the flooding. Look, interstate, 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 interstate. Uh, New Orleans floods as potential tropical storm approaches. As it approaches, you're already flooding quite a bit. Yes, uh, can't say it definitively, but I do believe that they are shutting down drainage systems to create this kind of flooding that we see now all over, all over, all over. So, I'm sorry, but I did say last night, prepare for the worst, and the worst could be coming. It could be coming, guys. I am so sorry, because I know there are some of you who have been already flooded out in this area could you be looking at another flood oh wow they're saying that this storm came from Georgia what happened to the Midwest Missouri how odd okay uh, anybody claiming and I read a comment from a subscriber who said that Thor News has predicted a category three or five. Okay, how is it possible that anybody could predict anything, anything, when man is controlling the weather? I'm sorry, but I question those channels who are claiming that this thing is going to be a hurricane and they don't mention weather modification, geoengineering, and I feel that those channels who do post on weather and they don't mention weather modification, the geoengineering that is taking place, the technology that we have to control the weather, the, the, the various, various methods to create clouds and torrential rainfall, they are doing a great disservice to their subscribers to humanity to this war and they are on the wrong side anybody anyone who could say that this thing is going to turn into a category three or five hurricane makes me wonder are they in the know yeah as you can see this storm is weakening. It's weakening and it's going into the coast. Oh, it's like the, you know, the, the wicked witch of the West. Pour water on her. Oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, but man has technology to bring you back to life. You can always be the wicked witch of the Gulf. So you do see a circular pattern. 
Now we know, because we have seen the Landocanes, uh, yeah, when man is controlling the weather, man can do what man wants to do. Anywhere. Tornadoes. In New Orleans. Okay, look at these. Look at the Northwest Texas. What is happening here? We are talking powerful pulses. Powerful. New Mexico and in the, I guess, Fort Worth and close to Austin area, I guess. Um, do you see this, what I believe is plasma? This is a force that is dragging this down, and I will show you that in a moment. Look at these frequencies that are emitted at the periphery of this storm. Look at these extremely low frequencies being set off in Missouri. I want you to take a look at the Northeast and Michigan in particular because I'll get to those forecasts for you. But this is real-time, real-time radar and well they are now bringing about the dots of severe weather. AI, nanotechnology. Can I say that definitively? No, because I would have to be in the know. But can I predict anything from these sites that an awful lot of other channels, they use it as well? No, I can't. Because I have shown you that frequencies hitting a storm can literally evaporate that storm. So we don't know what will be taking place. Now, can they? Can they manufacture something and call it a Category 5? Absolutely. But this thing, what you are seeing, is dying out. It is dying out. So whatever they bring about in the next couple of days, it will be manufactured by man. And look at how nicely defined is this right here in the western um, portion of the panhandle in Florida. Look at how beautifully defined that is. Let me zoom right on in there because I didn't see that earlier. So yes, look at these frequencies at work. I'm sorry, the channels who are doing weather and they are not talking about the biggest factor which is the technology that man has today and is using to create these weather events. They're not talking about it. Those channels talking about the grand solar minimum or it's the magnetic core. Um, have you not done any research on HARP to understand that these frequencies, the use of them, the, the uh, shooting of the high frequencies up into the ionosphere, pushing it up, and then boom, that extremely low frequency comes back to Earth, penetrating the Earth, and finding out that physicists years and years and years ago said this is very dangerous. The ramifications are uh, you, you, you inject man's hand these frequencies into the natural processes you could be setting off setting off a ripple effect that man can't control one of the effects disturbing the magnetic core. But look at this, you know. Yeah, really, that's that's Mother Nature. I'm sorry. Uh, something's very wrong. Oh my God, our country has become so. Yeah, and I've been saying this, you know, I, I shouldn't be. It, it's not that I'm surprised. 
It's the energy in our country. It's so bad that you have to fight every day to just keep yourself, you know, not being drained and your energy sucked out by all of the bad energy. So what's happening in the Northeast? Wow. Okay, nothing. Looks pretty clear to me, right? Michigan looks pretty clear. Uh, you do have this other extremely low frequency, this beam, that is crossing this beam. But wow, did you have an awful lot of activity last night, which I will show you in a moment. But I want to also show you what's happening here. College of DuPage. Look at these clouds. Wow, something is dragging that down, huh? But this is going, well, wait, okay, so we've got this air mass that's, well, looks like it's developing a land okay again, but it's going down south and then it's twirling around to go back into the Great Lakes area. But here, what's happening here? This is being pulled down south as it's also going north, all right? This, this on the, uh, the coast of North and South Carolina, um, this is being pushed westward, these clouds right inland, but this is going west. You've got, yeah, well, if they want to create a hurricane or at least get it uh, looking like a hurricane and then you know produce the effects of a category 5 they can do it look at the lining up of the clouds being manufactured right on the border of Florida border of Florida and Georgia and Alabama But you can see the creation of the storm seems to have, you know, this, uh, the band on the periphery that I, I can only say that this band seems to be leading the way. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, I mean, anybody any adult, you don't have to be an expert with satellites and radar to know this is not how Mother Nature works. Something is very amiss here. They're creating instability. They're creating atmospheric chaos to bring about your weather. The creation of cloud here, Mississippi, Louisiana, but our clouds do seem to be going every which way. So you've got this here on in the Atlantic, off the coast of Florida. Uh, well, seems to be two air masses coming together, one going south, one going north. Uh, and they're going every which way here in central Florida not every which way. Well, yeah, I mean, it's going up uh, north and it's coming down. Now, right here on the eastern coast of Florida, it's going up north. Here, it's being pushed down south on the western coast of Florida. This is going up north, off the coast of Florida. All right, so it does look like they're working it to get a hurricane. Now, of course, they do have the lovely heating going on. And more heating, wow. Now, I didn't see this earlier. 
but this entire uh, these two are I think going to converge they're going this is going up north this is coming down south you have the creation of a storm northwest Texas um, but as you can see the northeast whatever this is coming down from Canada into Maine area Vermont New Hampshire but you're pretty well clear right Pennsylvania New York Michigan, you're getting some cloud. All right, but um, you know, all I can, all I can say is prepare for anything. But no, I'm sorry, I do not appreciate the channels that are not talking about weather modification or geoengineering and just claiming it's the sun, just claiming it's the grand solar minimum, or channels who go, oh, category three, category five. Hmm, wow, okay. Uh, it does seem to me that I guess they're in the know and they know what's going to be coming about. So, I will say that there appears to be less frequency activity than I saw earlier. What am I doing here? Stop it. Um, you do see the harp next right ring, the intersecting harp next right ring. You do see the extremely low frequencies. Um, And what we are seeing now, very unusual for me because, I, and I, I've been looking at this for eight years, but what I'm seeing is frequency in frequency. You know, it's the high frequencies, the extremely low frequencies, and the microwaves, they're, they're bringing it on. It's all being ramped up. But if you look very closely, you can see the ripple effect of the microwaves right here in this precipitation. Microwaves. Microwaves alone can heat up the atmosphere. They can heat up the waters to bring about you know, the, the weather events that they want to bring about. Anyone who is not questioning how this came from Missouri, the Midwest, or Georgia, if they're not questioning, how is it that two mainstream meteorologists, one claims Missouri, the other one claims Georgia, and that doesn't beg questions. But how is it now that we have these storms that get generated in the Midwest, come on down, not as a storm, but they just, well, then suddenly they're in the Gulf, they're going to sit there for days, develop, evolve into, you know, a tropical storm or a, a hurricane. Um, how any adult is not questioning what they are reading, what they are seeing, even questioning those who are your ordinary YouTuber posting the videos. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I'm sorry. But these pulses here, Texas boy, uh, New Mexico not good. Look at this. That is, I do believe that this is plasma. You'll, you see this force dragging these storms down south, right in this area. Ah, but these storms up here still seem to be going in an easter uh, northeast direction, but look at these microwaves. My God. Look at these microwaves, guys. You see all the ripples right here? 
you see this incredible pulse. I've never seen a pulse like that. Never have I seen. Wow. And this pulse over here. You can see. I'm sorry, guys. You, you Channels that are not talking about this, uh, all of these frequencies, look at the, the Look at how many frequencies are right up here, which is Oklahoma, Arkansas, Miss, uh, Missouri. Now, look at the circular edge right here. What you want to look for are very defined lines, whether a very defined straight line, that is a signature of extremely low frequencies. These circular lines, that is a signature of the high frequency heating from Doppler radar. Look at these microwaves. Okay, so they are bringing about... I've never seen the use of electromagnetic frequencies as I am now. But look at all of the ripples right here. And you have very defined circles or asymmetrical, I don't know, rectangles or something. Look at this. Look at, look at this. I mean, no, I've never seen this before. And that may very well be a scalar square, which can portend very very dangerous happenings in that area. It's an explosion of dangerous frequencies right here. New Mexico, Northwest Texas, the and this whole area of Texas, this whole area. You now the central to northwest Texas. Now Governor Abbott is already is already on it. Don't worry, your governor is going to really save you. I do believe that this is a plasma and it could be pulling down this storm right here. But you can see all of the frequencies that are right through this storm happening in Missouri right now. All right. Um, I can't even remember if I showed you the cloud and this being pulled down as a cloud. Man, oh man. Well, New Orleans, Gulf Coast, face flooding, threat from likely tropical storm barrier. Barry. Barry. Severe oh. weather in Louisiana really? this morning. Really? That's a tornado. Okay. Morning. New video just into our newsroom showing a tornado touching down near the University of New Orleans campus. No word yet on any damage there, but the school tweeting out moments ago that a tornado warning for the area has been canceled. Parts of the famed Bourbon Street, now on the left-hand side of your screen, also flooded. New Orleans police reportedly saying drivers will be ticketed if they go faster than five miles per hour. Widespread flash flooding across New Orleans. On Wednesday, as forecasters warn, the storm could strengthen to a hurricane by the weekend and push the already swollen Mississippi River precariously close to the tops of levees that protect the city. There is a 90% uh, chance that this will become Tropical Storm Barry in the next 48 hours. Even if it doesn't become Tropical Storm Barry, it's going to produce a lot of rain. Well, guess what? This is being hit with frequencies. You know, this is weakening. So you can know 
that yes, we are at war. Man is using weather as a weapon. And I'm sorry for those who just have a hard time hearing that I'm upset and that I should be looking for good because I'm, I'm what, immersed in negativity. Uh, you know what? You can go tiptoe through the tulips and have a grand old time. But for anyone to give me advice because you think I'm like you used to be, you don't know me at all. Please start. You know, the brain was given to us. It's an incredible gift. Use it well. Use it. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, we are at war, okay? And yes, I do have subscribers who have already been flooded out. Am I worried? Yes, I am worried for you guys in Louisiana and even the Houston area and East Texas and what the hell they're going to be bringing to you here in, in this area of Texas. But it, it look, it's not, it's really, how do you even, how could you read this and then not get upset? They're talking about the possibility of levees being breached or toppled over. Those levees protecting New Orleans. Here, um, from the upper Texas coast to the Florida Panhandle, they're monitoring the progress of this system. Barry forecast to strengthen in the next 72 hours, even though you see it dying out. Uh, storm surge watch was issued for Pearl River to Morgan City, Louisiana, where forecasters said three to five feet of surge related flooding could occur. The combination of a dangerous storm surge and the tide will cause normally dry areas near the coast to be flooded by rising waters moving inland from the shoreline. The system is also expected to bring very heavy rainfall from the upper Texas coast to the Florida Panhandle, adding more water to the already swollen Mississippi River and bring it precariously close to the tops of levees that protect New Orleans. I find it interesting that they repeat the same threats in one article. Parts of Louisiana could see up to 12 inches of rain by Monday with heavier amounts possible in some spots, Mississippi and Texas. Uh, we're also at risk of torrential rains. Here's your fabulous tornado in New Orleans. Yes. Nothing seems to be, you know, prompting questions for anybody, but, you know, the streets are already flooding all over New Orleans. Here are all the street floodings. Everything will be linked to below, so if you're in this area and you have to go out, you might want to check out how many road closures you have. Four to six inches have already fallen, and two to three more is anticipated. Please do not drive in flooded roads. Seek higher ground if flooding. Here's our Atlantic Tropical Cyclone names for 2019. Yes, they're calling for... Oh, you can read it. I, whatever. Governor Abbott, Texas, we're preparing for that tropical storm. Uh, these areas have been repeatedly targeted. I don't get it. I don't get how people <laughs> just, you know, you want to listen to neutral reporting from YouTube, you know, the alternative 
folks on YouTube reporting with a neutral voice, get off my channel, unsubscribe. It took me decades and decades of work to finally get to a place where I can call myself ah, an integrated human being. All of the disintegration and the, you know, the emotional cutoff and yada, yada, yada. Well, I finally, I did all of that work. I now am. Yes, I can't, I can't, I can't post. I'm not, I, and I've said this for eight years. I am not someone who came onto YouTube to be a reporter, to have a new career, you know. I have subscribers who are going down. Don't tell me that I shouldn't, you know, be sounding the way I sound. We're so all over the place. So not on the same board, uh, same page, same board, whatever. Here, 12.40 p.m., U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in New Orleans said they're not expecting widespread overtopping of the levees that protect the city from the Mississippi River, but there are concerns for areas south of the city. No one knows, unless they're in the know, unless they're in the know, working for the other side, what will be taking place. But all I can say is that you need to prepare for the worst in all of these areas. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Panhandle of Florida, um, Louisiana, Texas, Kansas City, Missouri, thousands without power. Severe storms, flooding downpours to ramp up in northeastern U.S. prior to week's end. You know, also reading these articles, I'm like, oh my God. All right. I don't think anything else more clearly reveals how utterly insane this country is now on a daily basis than weather forecasting. Localized flooding downpours are forecast along the Interstate 95, where all those Gwen Towers are, uh, it, it, and coastal areas of the Northeast Thursday night and Friday. Where is this coming from? Where is it coming from? Well, don't know. I don't know where is it coming from. I have said seeing these um, crossing beams in Michigan, and I have seen in the recent couple of days, which let me show you what I saw last night. This was at 1.04 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have never seen Michigan like I have seen it in the last couple of days. Here we have uh, a huge land or cane developing, but then it evaporated. Uh, later on, we have these uh, precipitation soldiers sent out into Nebraska again. And then two hours later, which you will see, it, it becomes even more severe in Nebraska. And they seem to be coming from, and I go too quickly, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, they're coming from this whole line, plasma, and they're, sh they're shot out into Nebraska. The frequencies, Southern California, blasting away, frequencies, Texas, Central and into West, blasting away. Here, the, yeah, New Orleans got blasted with rain, but you guys in this area, please, there's, they always focus on the main 
uh, cities and they don't talk about the other areas so please leave comments but you can see what is happening right here okay this is hit with frequencies and voila it evaporates right here in the Alabama Georgia coast um, lots of crossing frequencies here in uh, off the coast of Virginia and North Carolina. So you still have pretty much just frequencies for the Northeast, but they are claiming in so many areas flash flooding, severe weather uh, coming your way. Where? From where? I don't know. Two hours later, more frequencies set off in Michigan. This is at 3.08 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We still have the march of the precipitation soldiers. However, they're far more severe. Nebraska and this whole line of what I do believe is plasma. It's still in the same exact area. The frequencies down here, Illinois, Indiana, uh, into Ohio, extremely low frequencies, Oklahoma, blasting of frequencies, Northwest Texas, and here. This whole system is, uh, it should just now be gone. You should have clear skies because it's being pushed down into the Gulf, but no, they're going to keep it around. More crossing beams, extremely low frequencies set off Virginia and North Carolina. Um, and the these storms that are created off the coast, being brought onto the coast, None of this is what we have seen before. Dissolving storms right here, Alabama and Georgia. This was at 12.22 p.m. today. Today, look at the Northeast. You don't see much going on. Uh, so, all right, Michigan seems pretty quiet. Except, oh, uh, well, you do have a little bit of the eruption of precipitation dots. Extremely low frequencies taking place. This system going from Nebraska into Kansas and you got the frequencies, microwaves at the edge, extremely low frequencies uh, at the other edge, the north edge, south edge, microwaves going through it, blasting frequencies. Now they are blasting away at 12.22 p.m. today, northwest Texas, blasting Oklahoma. And, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you don't need to be an expert in radar and satellite to know that hurricanes do not develop. Well, they don't start in Missouri, then somehow jump over states, go into the Gulf, and then work their way into a hurricane. They're calling for a whole lot of storms for the Northeast, for all over, actually. So uh, the Appalachian areas, uh, Midwest, uh, Northeast, Midwest for, Saturday, but they're talking about 1,400 miles, the Central Plains, 1,400 miles, the Central Plains. Where the hell is it? Where is it, please? Okay. Yeah, they have this thing going here. But where Central Plains, really? 1400 miles. No one. <laughs> I don't know. 
here, uh, main threats from the storms, eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina, northern Nor New York State, Ver Vermont, neighboring Canada, strong wind gusts, flash flooding, frequent lightning strikes. Then, during the day on Thursday, uh, I believe this is Thursday too, because they claim Wednesday is for the Central Plains. Oh, uh, well, Thursday, Pittsburgh, again, Charleston, West Virginia, Buffalo, New York, Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, Pennsylvania, again, Washington, D.C., Roanoke, Virginia, got Burlington, Vermont, Albany, New York, Harrisburg, Scranton, Pennsylvania. That will be for Thursday evening. You got flash flooding for uh, Frederick, uh, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. again. Thursday night, the intensity of the storms will diminish in terms of wind gusts, but look at this. So Georgia, South Carolina, all the way on up to Canada. Really. Well, all right. I'm sorry, guys. I I don't know what to tell you anymore. Um, they are really how anybody can predict anything is beyond me. Cold front Thursday. And stay hydrated. Use sunscreen and try to stay out of the heat as much as you can. Yes, you are treated like children. Put on that cancerous sunscreen. Stay out of the heat. And, you know, the thunderstorms now, the minute you see a gray cloud, run, run for cover. Because you could get hit by lightning. Storm triple threat. Target section of Michigan today may produce tornado. That is coming from all of those crossing beams that I showed you. Because Michigan... You're pretty quiet today. So if anything happens, you can thank the weather terrorists. And here, damaging storms to jolt 1,400 mile long swath of the United States, central United States. Damaging thunderstorms cut into the hot, steamy air. Wednesday evening, or 14, uh, all right, I'll link below to this, you can read it, but isn't it interesting that they include so many interstates, man, wow, <gasps> travel will become difficult along the interstates, how many, well, 35, 40, 55, 69, 70, 75, 80, and 90, and that's where all your wind towers are. The only thing that I can say is I hope to God everybody stays safe. All links are below.